let's take a look at our Taurus friends. Taurus is the second sign of the zodiac. Aries is first, Taurus is second. Aries is the beginning. Taurus wants to ground. It is fixed earth, as in rock. <laughs> or the mountain, okay, yeah? So fixed is solid, sustainable, builders. So we want to build, we want to sustain, we want to survive financial as an earth sign. It has to do with the physical body and physical possessions and physical tangible proof. Okay, like show me the money. <laughs> so these people are solid. They are dependable. They are builders. And medically now, Taurus rules the throat and the lower jaw, the lower palate. So it has to do with our salivary glands. It has to do with gum disease. It has to do, okay, you know, with, with the trachea and the larynx and everything going down the throat and like sore necks, <laughs> sore throats, big thing for Taurus. A lot of times you'll see these Taurus people and they are like bulls. They are solid. They got big, thick necks. Yeah, and sometimes a nice, big, solid jaw. Sometimes they're stout. Yeah, a little, little shorter. Well, you know, <laughs> not that I'm stout. <laughs> I can't really, I can't, uh, I can't do Taurus. But anyway, uh, so, yeah, the, what is it about that? I mean, that's got its pluses and its minuses, all right? These people are dependable. They are reliable. They come through in the crunch. And if you want to build a house, by golly, get a Taurus. So they'll, build, they'll build you a solid house. If you want to move to a new house, oh, whoa, 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 now just wait a minute. <laughs> we don't need to change things so fast. <laughs> so, you know, this, this managing change, okay, is a big thing for Taurus. There can be financial insecurity, there can be emotional insecurity, and these both tend towards what? Problems with the thyroid gland. So these people may get stressed out, they may get really tense and have a hard time to relax. And they may think it's their environment or their life or their situation, but check out that thyroid gland. Yeah, the hypoactive, hyperactive, too much, too little, Okay, you know, pizzazz, bang, bounce, whatever. So this Taurus energy, the, you know, the challenges that Taurus can face, yeah, like I say, they have to do, okay, with all these, it actually has also to do with the inner ear, okay, and, it, and there is an interesting aspect of what, yeah? The connection between the fifth chakra, okay, the throat, and also... The colon. Colon toxemia can actually affect the thyroid. And sometimes, you know, that Taurus moving slowly, okay, that can be good when you want to last. <laughs> Taurus will last, okay? They are sensuous, sexual beings, okay, that can, you know, really massage, get into the five physical senses of touch and taste and smell and hearing and you put on some incense and light some candles and you get a good Taurus massage. <laughs> It'll really get you going. Yeah, and the downside of being so sensuous and so physical and so in their bodies can be what? Sometimes a little overeating. <laughs> if there is emotional stress, okay, you know, there can be comfort food. So particularly, this is with the moon, okay, moon and emotional, and uh, yeah, the Taurus rising a little bit, but, you know, the, the sun in Taurus is not, you know, not so much, right? When we deal with emotions, we're dealing more with the moon. So you can, you can also see that, you know, this is the, the larynx and the throat and all these glands in here, the, the jugular vein, okay, is also Taurus. So these folks, you know, the main thing about Taurus is survival and simplicity simplicity living a simple life 
close to the earth, maybe out in the country, being a gardener, being a massage therapist. It's like, you know, Taurus likes it. You know, Taurus is like the Garden of Eden. I always associate with the Garden of Eden. You know, it's like the fruits, okay, of the vine and the, you know, you know, the, all the voluptuousness of Mother Nature is, is really supportive of that Taurus energy. And if they're in the, you know, if you're in the city or you're busy or you're getting stressed financially or things like that, it's very good for you to rather than turn to the refrigerator, you know, turn into, uh, you know, inside yourself, develop your inner resources, new talents, new capacities, new sources of income, because that's the downside of Taurus. They can get stuck in a rut and continue to do the same thing over and over. And we know that problems are very seldom solved at the same level that they were created. So Taurus wants to, and this is the opposite polarity of Taurus is Scorpio. And Scorpio has to do with transformation. So Taurus can also be self self-absorbed very much into the self so it's good to develop your inner resources but then it's also good to balance them to listen to receive to engage other people and not isolate too much go out you know too much by yourself so these are some of the facets some of the aspects some of the pluses and the minuses of that and of course you have to look at the whole chart. If you have your sun, moon, rising sign in Taurus, you have to look at it. Is it opposite Saturn? Is it square Mars? Is it trine Venus? These will all give you further indications, okay, as to this more specific nature of what you may be facing as a Taurus, as the bull. <laughs>